Oh, guys, I have to talk to you. Seriously, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for my videos because I don't know how to say, but I misled you. <sighs> All you see in my videos in Russian grocery stores is not food. <laughs> All you see is fake. I would say it's dummies. Every time I tried to convince you that all this is food. But now you see, it's all fake and, and plastic. And now I feel like this poor, poor fish I feel guilty because I have been deceiving you for a long time for half a year now it's time to tell you the truth we don't have food in Russia all you see is only your fantasy Hello, my dear viewers, I am Marina and I hope I managed to scare you a little bit. You may ask me, what's going on, Marina? What are you talking about? The point is that I received a lot of comments, thousands of comments from, of course, not Russian subscribers. Uh, they say that all I show you is fake and there is no food in Russia and we have already eaten the last hedgehog and now we're going to continue to eat the bark of the trees and all this food is not food is fake uh, or dummy and so my new video is gonna be just a kind of uh, revelation of these myths are you ready Some of my foreign viewers believe that all Russians are broke now. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, guys. I'm afraid I'm not entirely keen on that idea. I know a lot of Russian people who are rich, really rich. And if you see the prices, they are really affordable for everyone. They're really nice. So one dollar today is 80 rubles. So you have to divide all prices by 80. Hmm, great deal of salads. Uh, approximately one dollar and less uh, for 100 grams. Uh, Caesar salad with chicken. Do you like it? It's to my liking. I adore th this uh, salad. And uh, cheap salads from vegetables, just uh, less than 50 cents for 100 grams and looks wonderful. And do you know what it is? Vinaigrette, typical Russian traditional salad from boiled vegetables. Very tasty. And Greek salad, mm, 60 rubles for 100 grams. And of course, a great variety of Russian pies. You see 40 rubles, 60 rubles, 50 rubles, and even 30 rubles pie with um, cabbage and eggs. Looks very nice, really. Oh, guys. People say that there is a degustation in a sausage section and I'm looking, looking forward to, to eating and tasting wonderful, wonderful Russian plastic sausage. <sighs> it was a joke. <laughs> Forget it. I would like to thank you so much for your attention and for your wonderful donations. If you want to support me and my channel and... Uh, mm, if you are interested in the development of my channel Made in Ruslan, so the link is in the description.
Thanks a lot for your help. Let's dig a state together. Of course, guys, it's a great, great tragedy for all Russians that uh, there, there are no sections with uh, pickled uh, hedgehogs and uh, dried uh, bark of the trees, uh, as some of you think. But uh, we have a wonderful section of uh, homemade uh, meat, smoked meat, and you see prices are really very nice. Uh, the price is for 100 grams, uh, 64 rubles. It's about $8 for kilo. I think it's good prices, yes? What do you think about it? Uh, and less, $7 for kilo. As for me, all these food attract my attention because because it's a pleasure to have a good food. And what are these? It's a kind of heat. Ah, this is uh, meat bread, Bavarian meat bread. So price is uh, just $5 for one kilo. And do you have a Bavarian meat bread in your country? Mm. All sausages, heat, heat, heat. Bestseller, bestseller, bestseller. <laughs> and you see price for, for pack is uh, um, 156 rubles for 330 grams. Um, I'm not sure I, I can count well, but it's about uh, $2 for today's rate of exchange for a pack of wonderful smoked sausages. Hmm, I see the discount for bestseller Bavarian meat bread, four dollars for one kilo, you see. And they produce all this meat right here. Mm. I don't know what to say. It looks fabulous and smells so nice. Now, da -da 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 -da, I feel happy. There are so many kinds of sausages that I can try right now. Oh, have a look, endless, endless row. I know exactly, my dear viewers, that these are your favorite moments to degustate new food together with me. Let's start with ham. Mm. Three and a half dollars for one kilo. Not bad. A little bit salty. But I love salty food. I know it's not healthy. But what can I do? Hmm? Another one. I think I have to open a new channel. Only about degustations in Russian grocery stores. Because every time I'm here, I try something special. <laughs> the previous was better, way better. But if you want to feel the taste of Soviet childhood, you have to try this. Its name is something like boiled sausage. Not smoked, but both. It's uh, with milky taste. And let's try such a big pieces. <laughs> and again, 12 years old, small Marina in that Soviet time. To tell you the truth, it's very difficult for me to pretend that it's good because all of you know that it's made from plastic. <laughs> Very nice plastic, I would say. My dear viewers, despite of that fact that uh, many Russian people are workaholics in life, 
uh, but uh, sometimes we are very lazy in shopping. That's why you cannot see a great deal of people in our grocery stores because um, many grocery stores have uh, a delivery system nowadays and um, it's really very popular among Russians just to order food and uh, um, special stuff will deliver this food at home it's so easy and it's free of charge if you buy for example for two three thousand rubles uh, it's not much uh, it's about maybe thirty dollars and you'll get uh, all food you want all food you need right at home it's great what do you think write down in comments do you use the delivery system or not? I prefer a live shopping. Uh, I really adore it. <laughs> to walk around in a big, big grocery store or supermarket or hypermarket. And sometimes uh, I even love to get lost there. It's so interesting for me. So, but, um, um, I need to do some groceries. It's true. First of all, I need to buy a fresh trout. My regular subscribers know that I'm fond of eating trout. This is my uh, favorite fish, as well as dorado and sea bass. But trout and salmon are the best. But on the way to fish section, I see eggs, uh, ha, 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 ha. luxury eggs, yeah, it's about um, 100 rubles for 10 eggs, uh, it's expensive for us, it's uh, one and a half dollars, um, I think I can find uh, cheaper eggs. But uh, eggs are not so important today as uh, fish. Yeah, I see fish department. But first of all, the refrigerators with the seafood, but I don't need it today. Oh, maybe, maybe salty trout with discount 30%. 200 rubles for 100 grams 200 rubles is uh, two and a half dollars nowadays no i think fresh is better fresh fish uh, do you see this uh, stunning sturgeon Uh, the price is uh, 150 rubles for 100 grams so it's about 20 dollars for kilo for fresh alive sturgeon yes fish is oh, fish is amazing oh hello здравствуйте здравствуйте oh здравствуйте айна Nice to see you. My Aina is my subscriber, <laughs> my one of my best subscribers. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we also на shopping. Ah, she's looking for fish as well. She's my neighbor. Uh, I love these moments. <laughs> oh, have a look at this. Oh my God. I'm really very happy <laughs> today. When you live in Russia, every minute you have a problem. Now the problem is what trout to choose for dinner. I think there are there are 25 or more kinds of fresh trout. Do you think it's normal? Really, I'm nervous. 
Oh, Trout from Murmansk. Ah, have you already seen my movies, my videos from this wonderful city Murmansk? And, uh, and uh, Turkey Trout. And again, Turkey and Ossetian and, 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 and Russian, Karelian, again from Murmansk and Amber Trout and uh, what not. Uh, I think I have to ask. Of course, for sure, I need a piece of advice and ask a seller. And she told me this one is the best. Of course, it's uh, expensive. Uh, not trout, but salmon from Murmansk steak, 108 rubles. $25 for one kilo. But looks fabulous. I think I'll take two or three steaks. Uh, <laughs> I got it. Uh, Twenty dollars for mm, approximately nine hundred grams. Two big steaks for for dinner. Great. I only pray that this salmon for twenty dollars doesn't turn out to be a dummy from most film. <laughs> and again, have a look, my dear dear friends. This is not a dairy section. This is your dream. This is your fantasy. And the milk you see is not milk. This is just water in plastic bottles. Let's check out the price of this. I don't know what. And again, I can see discounts, of course, of course. Who will buy this water for 70 rubles? It's less than one dollar, it's about 80 cents. And 60 rubles, it's maybe 75 cents, you see? For one liter of something, we don't know what. Endless, endless dairy section with something white and I hope tasty. Ah, fake again. And it could be very delicious candy departments with fake Nutella and fake chocolate eggs. Of course, it could be, if that were true, for sure. But guys, there are no even chocolate hedgehogs here. Please, please don't ask me to find out where are all the hedgehogs that Russians like to eat. It makes me upset, you know. I can't find hedgehogs, only only thousand kinds of candies. Oh my gosh. I really hope that all these candies are made from from the back of the tree. From the back of the different trees. Because candies are different. Long, long, long row. Hmm, what about prices? So, one dollar, one hundred grams. Mm, they know what it is. Dates in chocolate. You know, there is a wonderful, great. Uh, candy factory in Moscow and it produces all these, almost all these candies and the prices are different. I know these candies are wonderful, very tasty, delicious, but very fat and full of sugar. So its price uh, is uh, 60 rubles for and 50 rubles for 100 grams. 
very nice. Oh my god. And on the opposite side of this section, you can see what? Famous historical chocolate Alonka. And do you know this girl, Alonka, is still alive. She's 90, if I'm not mistaken, nowadays. This is the, her photo, her picture in, uh, in childhood. But this is a real, real girl, Alonka. <laughs> Alonka is a, a Russian name. Mmm, great deal of chocolates. <laughs> And do you know the best caramel in the world? So this one, its name is Moskvichka. It means uh, Moskvite woman or Moskvite girl, Moskvichka. It's caramel covered with uh, chocolate. Oh. Its price with discount is only uh, 33 rubles for 100 grams. Um, so it means three dollars for one kilo three and a half dollars for one kilo impressive write down in comments uh, my dear viewers i promised uh, one of my foreign subscribers to to make a video of uh, of tea and coffee section and so um, i'm going to keep my promise so what kind of cheese do we have in Russia? Um, I don't drink tea. Um, I'm fond of drinking coffee. That's why I don't know what to comment, but I'll try to do it for you. Oh, maybe I'm going to keep silence just to show you <laughs> the types of teas. And the prices so uh, for example uh, one dollar for 25 packs of tea i don't know is it expensive or not um i remember that one of the most uh, popular kinds of tea is curtis uh, you may write down in comments what tea you do you prefer um, oh, yeah, I know this one. This is from Azerbaijan, Azer Chai. And its price for 100 grams is uh, 120 rubles. It's about uh, one and a half dollars for 100 grams. And of course, of course, Greenfield. I remember this trademark. Again, with discounts, let me check something. So 100 rubles for 20, for 20 packs. Yes, for 20 packs, like this. With discount, 37%. Uh, I'm sure that many Russians uh, prefer to drink tea not coffee but not me <laughs> not my family not my friends as for coffee uh, i buy it in turkey every time not here that's why i'm not an expert in in this coffee <laughs> as well so what about green tea let's check it green tea and herbal tea for example pure green tea from Riston again one and a half dollars for 200 grams and uh, a little bit more expensive with the jasmine great amount really heaps and heaps of packs Oh, different fruit tea and again uh, herbal tea with uh, uh, with berries and uh, and for example for relax for sleep for good sleep I get lost again help me 
I want to come back home with my fish. And instant coffee is not my thing. <sighs> uh, my dear viewers, English uh, native speakers, how do you call this section? Uh, if I remember rightly, um, essential sections, yes? With the uh, toothpastes and uh, different shampoos, conditioners and something. Write in comments, thanks a lot beforehand. All right, now it's clear I have to come back home. <laughs> because these are kilometers, really kilometers of, of goods. Of course, fake goods. Of course. Of course, I have a risk to drink something terrible. Fake? Or not fake. Coca Cola. Let's try. Not bad. And not fake. Guys, here is the link to my best videos about beautiful Moscow underground. Hmm?